daily-ish neo-pronouns number three, V, Vir, Vis, Virself. You can read along in the description below. V, Vir, vi, Vis, Virself, which will follow the same rules as he, him, his, himself for this example. Replace he with V, replace him with Vir, replace his with Vis, and replace himself with Virself. Example. He is going to adopt a new puppy soon, as soon as he gets a fence set up around his yard so the puppy can go outside without him having to walk it. His uncle is going to help set up the fence since he has a pet set of power tools he's going to since he has a set of power tools he's letting him use since he lost his. Becomes V is going to adopt a new puppy soon, as soon as V gets a fence set up around Vis yard so the puppy can go outside without Veer having to walk it. Vis uncle is going to help set up the fence since he has a set of power tools he's letting Veer use since V lost Vis. V was born under blood moons and so spent the first 30 years of Vis life in the Maw of Kairun, being taught the skills required of all blood hunters. V learned how to focus Vis sight to see past the energy and into the body world, the realm that very few Kial who were born under other moons would ever even get a glimpse of. There were a rare few who had the ability, of course, because nothing could ever be neat or simple, but they were few and far between, and it was even rarer for any of them to match up to even the weakest of blood hunters. Hold on. I'm holding my phone like this, killing my wrist. On this 31st anniversary of life, V was discharged from the Maw of Kairun after the ceremony of degradation that would make V's status as a blood hunter official in all the laws of the world. V was now qualified to take contracts for anyone who required the services of a blood hunter, with the Maw of Kairun to be held personally responsible for any misbehavior on V's part, so that the contractors would feel secure in bargaining for V's services. Now free to travel wherever V wished, the first thing V did was head north, towards the pole. V had read so many stories about the atmosphere there, it had always been V's dream to visit once V graduated, and now V had that chance. The Ma of Nat Naruk had been built right on top of the maelstrom, chained into place by the very careful work of thousands of workers and scholars, so that it would not budge a heartbeat out of place, even if the world ended tomorrow. They would welcome Veer into their ranks happily, and V would take Veer turn fulfilling whatever menial tasks the Ma required for its various forms of upkeep when V was not currently under contract. A third of this payment would go to the Ma of Naruk while V was sheltered there, and the leadership would in return use that payment to continue trading resources and communications with the Ma of Kairun, and further south, the Ma of Yurunk, and to the east, the Ma of Unkir. There were other malls out there, further away, but too far for easy communication, and, the, and though V had studied their history while V was younger, the information hadn't been crucial, and so it had faded with time, overwhelmed by all the other things V had learned that were more pressing and important. Like how to descend safely, and to descend safely, and make sure you would be able to ascend again how to carry someone back with you if they fell, how to interact with the body world without becoming trapped, how to communicate with the benevolent bodies, and most importantly, how to track and banish or kill the bodies, sometimes called projections, that entered their world. V had already ventured down into the body world several times while V was still an apprentice, so that the older, more experienced blood hunters could demonstrate the proper techniques. It was one thing to know how to do something, to study diagrams, it was another thing entirely to be there in the body world trying to do it properly yourself. The task had been to communicate with the local benevolent body that had worked with the Maw of Kairun for generations, helping to guide the younger students down the right path. Parsing its style of communica communicating had been this most challenging lesson in this whole life. V could not simply watch and listen. V needed to sink deep into meditation and feel the bi vibrations the body's voice sent into the atmosphere. This task was to establish clear two-way communication and to prove that V was able to communicate with the body, whose name, V had been told, was silver metal. V had to find the well-hidden body object that silver metal guided, to, guided Veer to, 
then the reverse, with Veer guiding metal to the symphoric object the elder blood hunters had sunken down into the body world and hidden, with its location only revealed to Veer once V had found the first object. Silver metal, as a body, had been alien and strange, but not as frightening as V had been afraid of. Yes, it was dense and almost solid, but there was the slightest hint slightest hint of, of symphoriary that resonated from it at all times, and that, V was told, by silver metal itself, was how they were able to communicate. V would not be able to see silver metal again unless V returned to the Maw of Kyrun, but there would be other local bodies near the Maw of Nuruk, some of them benevolent, who would help V in the vis tasks when necessary, and some of them wicked. These were the ones that V would help to track down when they invaded the real world, and depending on their level of hostility and their ability to inflict damage, they would either be banished or killed outright. V had never had to kill a wicked body yet, or even met one. The Maw of Kyrun had a large network of benevolent bodies surrounding it, and they did their part to stop the wicked bodies before they could breach the symphoric world. This would not be the case at the Pole, which was another of the many reasons V had chosen it as this first station. The number of wicked bodies intruding into the real world had been rising there for the past few years, with more and more blood hunters being drawn in to deal with it. Nowhere else within travel distance needed as much assistance as the Pole did, and this job was to help above all else, so that's where V would go.